All right, guys, I'm going to do a little video on a 2017 and up F-250 6.7 diesel uh, oil change. Uh, I'm also going to be installing this little easy drain valve in place of uh, where the drain plug's at. Just screws in there, and you turn this little notch right here if I can get it one-handed, and it opens a little drain port right there. I've also got this little 90 that's going to uh, screw into that right there and go straight down where it goes straight into my um, uh, oil, oil drain thing or whatever I got to put my oil in so it doesn't have to shoot out. It can just come straight down at a 90. But I won't be able to use this until next oil change. I'm just going to install it today. Uh, I'll link the part numbers to these two as well. I use, uh, I have had a Duramax. This is my second diesel. Uh, I used Rotella T6 in my Duramax as well. Uh, I always use the Motocraft filters in my Ford. Uh, I mean, I, I'm going to use Rotella T6 until it fails me. All my buddies use it. I use it. It's a good oil. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link at the end of this video to this as well. It's all on Amazon along with these. But uh, let's, let's get, get to started. it. Uh, I took my oil cap off. I always do that. Um, get under here. I got a filter wrench. And I got a socket. 16 millimeters is what you're going to need. And this right here is the plug I'm going to take out. There's my oil filter right there. So I'll try to set this up where y'all can see it and uh, video it at the same time. All right, let's lay this sucker down. Lay this sucker down, see if we can, we can get her on there. All right. Should have put my glove on. She hot. It's that black gold, baby. All right. There's a the owner's manual says it's 13 or it's 15 quarts. That's false. It's 13 quarts. Okay. All right, what I usually do is get a drill, drill into the bottom of the filter, let it all drain out. It makes taking it off a little bit easier, a lot less messier. So. Got that out. So, I'll let that drain for about five minutes, come back, and then when I take it off, it's not gonna be near as messy, so. You get a little bit on your drill, but had a buff out. It's just what I've always done. Take a screwdriver, pop a hole if you want. I just do it this way. So I'm gonna let that drain and I'll come back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my easy drain plug in there real quick. So I'll clean that up best I can and we'll stick this in there and I'm gonna get a crescent wrench and I'll tighten it the rest of the way. valve in there basically it locks right there you push up like this and it'll drain in the future. You don't have to take it off. That shuts it. And I got a little thing right here. I can screw in there. Well, I can do this one-handed. Probably can't. There we go. It's supposed to go in there. Or you can tighten it down, move it up. I gotta move this a little tighter and then it'll be in the 90 right there. But I'll do that at the end. So my filter wrench was messed up. I'm going to use uh, this instead. I forgot I had it. So.
boom, no mess. Drill that hole, let it drain. All right. I'll be back. All right. Some people fill the oil filter. Some people don't. I'm going to put, put about filler up in there. All right. Take a little on the side. we get this rubber gasket right here. Go Got my filter filled back up. Put some oil on the O ring. I'm going to screw it back on. All right, guys. I got the, uh, the oil drained out, filter changed. I'm going to put a. Uh, I put about almost a full quart in that filter, and the whole motor takes 13 quarts, so it's going to be. Three gallons plus one quart of another gallon. So I'm gonna fill her up. There's four quarts. There's eight quarts. That's 12, and what I'm going to do is pause it real quick. I'll get back in a minute. There's a little clear line right here. You can see how many quarts. I'm going to go take that other gallon I got and pour one quart into here, just so I know, so I don't have to stop. Just so I don't have to take that four quart one and pull a little bit, look, pull a little bit, look. I'm just going to fill, fill this one up to the one quart line and come dump a quart in. I'll be back. All right, so I filled it up to the court line right here. There ain't no guesswork. I'm gonna fill up the last court, so. Now that's uh, 13 courts. Owner's manual says 15. It's wrong, it's 13. So uh, I'm gonna take this off, take my funnel out, put my cap back on. Turn my truck on and let it run a minute. Turn it off, check the check the dipstick, make sure it's good. And then I'm gonna uh, make sure there's nothing on the concrete and I'm gonna let it sit here overnight because I got when I leave for work in the morning, I'll check under it before I go, make sure it ain't dripping or leaking and good to go. I mean, that's all there really is to it. Uh, see if I can start her up real quick on video. 
like I say, that little that little uh, easy drain valve is gonna make things real easy next time I change it. I won't have to get wrench or nothing. But all right, let's get to it. She's good to go. I'm gonna turn the truck off and I'll show y'all how to uh, how to reset the oil life. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna show y'all how to reset the oil life. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings down here, and then you'll go to advanced settings, and then you go to vehicle, and there'll be one that says oil life reset. You push that. And then it's just like you reset your trip meter, you, you know, you just press and hold it. And when it gets to the end, boom, reset complete. So now it's complete and, and your old life be back to 100%. All only thing left for me to do is check the dipstick. I'm sure everybody that's watched this video knows how to check a dipstick, but I'll see if I can do it real quick and show you anyway. All right, you got two dipsticks. This is the trans, trans dipstick, this is your old dipstick. Pull it out. I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna stick it back in there. I'd be better if I had a step stool, but I don't, so. I'll take this out like this. Maybe I can grab the phone real quick and show you. Right there at the line. Let me focus. Focus. Well, it ain't wanting to focus. Anyway, you see it's right there at, the, at that line right there. So we're good to go. All right. Look, guys, uh, if this video helped you, or if it was uh, useful to you or any way, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, like I said, I use Rotella T6 5W40, full synthetic. I use a Motocraft filter and the easy, easy drain, uh, easy drain plug valve. I'll link all that in the description in the video. But uh, anyway, that's all there is to it. This is the part number for the Motocraft filter, FL-2051S. Um, but I'll put all that in the video description as well. Anyway, appreciate y'all. God bless.